Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. And today we're back on this. I want to get the motor mounted today so I can go measure for a belt. And then we're pretty much there. And due to today, this piece here, I'm going to weld back in behind here just to make it a little more rigid. It's probably unnecessary, but it's not going to hurt. Now we'll tie those together. This is going to be the plate that the hinges get welded to. You're going to get, I know these are, you know, not the heaviest duty hinge, but it's tensioning a small motor. That's all it's doing. So these get welded on here. Boom, boom. Weld it onto this. Boom, boom. And then we'll drill this for the motor. And once the hinges and stuff are in, we'll drill two clearance holes for the bolt heads. So uh, that'll be a quick and easy way to do that. And then we will mount the motor and start taking some measurements and put the cross braces in too. And then we'll probably figure out the tensioning system. Now, I know this is crude. I mean, look, there's welded angle iron on my milling machine. And a lot of people were saying, why don't I use my other milling machine to more precision, you know, cut the angles and all this and to do all this. Well, let's say you purchased a machine like this with a bad motor. And these come up with bad motors a lot because the motors are pretty, you know, special to them. And you wanted to get it going. This is something you could do to get it going. And I'm having fun doing this project this way. This is temporary. I'm on the lookout. I'm constantly on the lookout for a new motor for this. When I find one, I'll put it on. But in the meantime, for, you know, kicks, and I like, you know, you saw what I did with the milling machine, <laughs> horizontal mill. I like doing stuff like this, and it will make it a perfectly usable machine so I can show people, you know, think outside the box a little bit, and you can get your stuff going. So let's get the welder and some other stuff going, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we have the hinge plate welded up. Still messing around with the settings, not welder. Doing a nice job. Ooh, hot. Nice job. It seems to have a uh, slight feed issue at certain speeds. I think it's the roller or it's, or it's the liner. It feeds kind of jittery sometimes. But yeah, we'll look at that another day. And I, so I weld one. I measured them all off the edge, then used a square. And then when I weld the other one, you know, I put a, you know, it's got stuff on now, but put the magnet across to make sure these are both, I was like, you touch them, they're still hot, you know, in plane. They're exactly in line. So, uh, yeah. Now we will bolt these to the motor. And then the big finagling part is going to be holding up the mower, the motor, lining everything up, and welding those into place. That's going to be the, I think I can get my cherry picker in there. If not, we'll have to, or we can do it by measurements. We'll see. Okay, let's keep going.
Okay, well that's as far as we're gonna make it today. Here's awesome, got the hinge swing plate on. Now what I did is, if you didn't know this, when you're dealing with slotted, you know, all these motor plates have slots in them. If you drill your holes off center opposed to each other, when you go to adjust it, look how much they'll cam in the slot. And look how much adjustment I have there. So that's, you know, that's a good amount. And it's still tight in there, the whole range. See, it doesn't get loose or it doesn't get bound up. So it'll give us the final adjustment that we need, you know, in case something's off a little bit. Now I'm going to grind this down and put a jam nut on there so it's a little low profile. But another thing I designed into this when I spaced my uprights is the motor is going to be like let's say here's the drive pulley the motor is going to start off to the side so when it's tensioned it'll swing the motor out and that will align put this more directly in line with the motor pulley so some things to think about yeah we are there I mean tomorrow will maybe tomorrow probably Monday I'll weld this up there then all we need to do is weld on a little tab to put a, a push bolt and get the belt and we are done you said that that part of a project when you're you're at right at the finish line very exciting so yeah it came out good very cool we're almost done guys this is adam from small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching